uh, Carrie Keys, Ukadeus, and we won the Novice Wars second slate, level two and three, and then won the high point for level two and three in the Novice Wars. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, your family raised this horse, right? Yes. So, as a foal growing up, at which point did you decide that this would be a keeper, one that you would show? In? Honestly, um, we always knew that he was going to be special, but we kind of thought that he, we might sell him. Um, and we decided not to sell him um, as a two-year-old, and I'm glad we did. And I had three that year, and one of them kind of got hurt, and got sick, and he was kind of my leading one, to believe it or not. I don't know why anybody would be better than Bruce, but um, and then the other one was just gigantic, and he was really big for me, so he didn't really fit me, but I, I loved him too, so we sold him, sold both of those, and he we kept him, gelded him, and um, since then he's been my horse. <laughs> Well, he had two other colts out there with him, and he was the firstborn, and he was definitely in control. So he has been the man that everybody has to follow. <laughs> he was not the biggest one out there. He was actually became one of the smaller ones, but he uh, he made sure that he was in control, and they respected him. <laughs> and you said he was special from the beginning. Was that his bloodline? His all of it. Um, you know, we I've done really well on the Spook Scout of Guns. It's been one of my favorite um, bloodlines. We've had several. We've raised several. I've shown them all. Um, we have another weanling coming up that looks just like Bruce. Um, and then the Trash at AS Mares. We have two Trash at AS Mares that we breed. Um, one is the mother of Spook, my older horse, and the other one is his mother. And so they've been really good producers for us. Um, he's got a little brother coming up, a smart Spook out of the same mare um, that's just phenomenal that Eduardo's trained so I'm really excited about him too so he's um, it's just been a really good bloodline for us and I, I've ridden the Trash Day as horses for years and mixing it with the Spook Scotty Gun has been a pretty good combo for us. Uh, we marked the same, but I will say that I feel like it was a way better run, and I I worked on him. It was show schooling. I mean, I I worked on our rundowns and worked on some stuff I needed to work on, and I feel like I did a lot better for him this time. Um, I was this is really felt like one of my better runs ever on him. Really. Um, he was, he was right there with me. We got up at 6 this morning to ride. It was, well, I got up at 5, but we came out here about 6, 6.30, um, just because I hadn't been able to have the pen to myself and work on some stuff that we needed to work on from before. Um, so it was a little early morning for us, but um, it was, it obviously was good work for us. <laughs> and you were first in the pen today. I mean, what was your game plan? Yes. Well, I thought I was, I was draw two, so I thought I had at least one, and then it was us. So we trotted a couple circles and went in, and um, I'm normally a morning person. I do think I'm dragging a little bit this morning. I had to kind of like pep myself up to get in there and, and get it done, but um, I just tried to stay smooth and focused and remember all of the things I needed to work on and just one maneuver at a time. And Brian was out here coaching me, and that helped too. <laughs> Brian, Nike, Eduardo, Cody, um, the whole Brian Bell staff, um, my mom's home taking care of everything. We couldn't do this without her. Um, it's, they've, they've been awesome. Southwest um, Riding Horse Association, they're giving wonderful prizes. They're amazing to work with. Um, I love the show every year. I've, I've been pretty happy, been pretty successful here. And um, their, their sponsors and their prizes are different than anywhere. You know, they go out and really kind of handpick some different stuff, and I, I just really appreciate them and all their hard work. And everybody around here, the whole staff, is been wonderful, and I know they're working hard. Amanda, it's a pleasure to be here tonight representing Markel. I am Frank Costantini, the Director of Western Disciplines. Uh, along with the team of specialists, we offer the uh, various products that Markel offers to the equine industry, primarily of the Western Disciplines. Markel, as you might know, is a specialty lines insurance company with the primary home office in Richmond, Virginia. We provide coverage for uh, almost all the equine 
entities that uh, participate in uh, what the ongoings of the horse world today, you know. We've had the good fortune of being able to offer farm and ranch coverage, care testing control, uh, commercial auto, commercial horse trainers liability, professional horse trainers liability, and by and large mortality coverage for our equine investments. Uh, we've been affiliated with the NRHA for 20 plus years now, and hopefully we'll be in, in, in business and affiliated with the NRHA and the Western Horse World for another 20 years. Along with that, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be interviewed by Worldwide Slide, Virtual Horse Help. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, meeting of the minds and the coming together. And uh, speaking for Markel, we are looking forward to working with you, with Cheryl, with uh, Tommy, and all the entities involved.